Yes, as you can see, we are witnessing the handover of the uh, SFC uh, flag. It has been handed or passed over to the incoming commander. A big round of applause, please. Asante Sana. Uh, thank you for that. The next item, Commander's seal being handed over. Thank you very much. The nation, for giving me this opportunity to serve as the Commander Special Forces Command, and I can only pledge total loyalty to him, Commander-in-Chief, Army leadership, the institution, the country at large. And I clearly promise that I should keep the standard of the Special Forces Command by having a well-trained force, robust, agile, fit, adaptive, effective and efficient, versatile, exposed, dynamic, reliable, productive, pro-people, professional, well-grounded ideological force to meet a contemporary national, regional and regional and global challenges. Sir, allow me this point, this point in time to take this grand opportunity to appreciate you, sir, of the CDF. The structure that he was uh, presenting to us is to make sure it fits within uh, the strategic, operational and uh, tactical obligations of uh, SFC because as you know you must therefore continue pick from where he has uh, left to continue building capacity and uh, the capability of this uh, elite elite uh, uh, outfit of SFC um, and this means that uh, you continue looking at the mission against the required equipment and the personnel required to man that equipment. Because uh, they say the man, the machine, is the man behind it. You can have a good machine if you don't have a good man operating it, it will not deliver the, the results you want.